my dad has severely damaged the lives of my brothers and sisters for his own self-delusional, egotistical, and religious motives. And, and if not stopped, it's likely to continue. His name is Elon LeBaron. His family, one of the most powerful and prominent in the often shadowy world of American polygamy. Decades ago, his ancestors founded a polygamous safe haven in Mexico that today bears the family's name. And one of his uncles, a notorious convicted killer named Ervil LeBaron, who died locked up serving a life sentence in a Utah state prison. This is a religious cult, essentially, I grew up in. And now Elon LeBaron stepping forward publicly, expressing fears about his immediate family and the path down which Elon says their religious beliefs have taken them. We basically know that my dad is impregnating and having children with my sister. His the father own, is impregnating his daughter, your sister. His own flesh and blood, yes. Indeed, Elon LeBaron now alleging that his father, a 65-year-old retired businessman named Ross LeBaron, is a believer in a fundamentalist theory sometimes referred to as the pure seed doctrine. That is, that the family's bloodline is special in the eyes of God and that the practice of inbreeding is often employed to help maintain its purity. It's not just the incest and all the damage, the, the, the genetic damage, the psychological damage. It's why he's doing it. And part of the reason why he's doing this is a way to psychologically trap his kids and prevent them from ever leaving. Who wants to believe this about their own family? Elon LeBaron, not the only family member making the allegations against his dad. There was never once a denial of it happening. Brother David making similar claims, as is a brother by the name of Alaric, who is an Air Force physician currently based in Afghanistan. My dad is a religious fanatic, and uh, he believes in this. Uh, he believes that, you know, incest is gonna, you know, bring back the line of Jesus Christ. Specifically, the brothers allege their father, in pursuit of the pure seed theology, may have fathered as many as four children with one of his own daughters, a young woman now in her late 20s. They also allege that a 41-year-old brother named Wayne LeBaron may hold similar beliefs as their dad. Their biggest concern now, their youngest sister, a 16-year-old who still lives on the family's large farm in southern Utah. If we don't do something to stop this, she has a high probability that her life in the next coming years will be permanently damaged. She will be impregnated. She will pr be probably to another brother, I'm guessing, maybe my dad. And to support their claims, Eland and his brothers say they have had DNA tests performed on two of the children that they suspect are the products of incest. Tests that the brothers say have confirmed their suspicions that there is incest in their family. Allegations that have now also been brought to the attention of prosecutors in both Mojave County, Arizona and Iron County, Utah, where 3TV has confirmed that the Iron County Attorney's Office is now conducting a criminal investigation. Yes, we are investigating uh, Mr. LeBaron. Iron County Attorney Scott Garrett saying this to a Salt Lake reporter just yesterday. Because it's under investigation, I really don't want to make any more comment uh, other than that, just that there is an active investigation. They say that you have impregnated your own daughter. Well, that's not true. Not true. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We do. We, of course, wanted to talk to the man at the center of all this, Ross LeBaron, whom we recently found on an isolated mountain road in southern Utah. Ross LeBaron told us he would talk only if we put our cameras down and took notes. We did so, at which time Ross LeBaron acknowledged that he might be the father of his daughter's children, but he then laid responsibility on his now dead wife, Diana, whom he said, unbeknownst to him, may have collected his semen and distributed it to his daughters for the purpose of artificial insemination. And my dad's clearly trying to argue that these children are a result of artificial insemination. First of all, I don't believe that's true. And second of all, even if it were, it doesn't change the fact that half of the children statistically are going to have birth defects. And with that in mind, we decided to give Ross LeBaron one more shot to defend himself on camera 
which led to this. Have you, have you impregnated your daughters? Absolutely. Absolutely not. Okay. Have, uh, but it, you, you say it's... it's uh, uh, we walk down to the pole this going. Hey, don't, no, don't break my cameras. Well, just keep it up. And while Ross LeBaron unwilling to answer our questions in front of the camera. Is your father a good man? I don't know of anybody better. His son, Wayne LeBaron, who did talk to us at length, saying that the relationships inside his family are none of our business, while also saying there is great virtue in the practice of inbreeding when it comes to both livestock and to selected people. Is inbreeding being practiced here in your family? That's... You know, whether we, we choose to engage in that is a private matter. Um, but I personally believe that a combination of outmarrying for genetic diversity and intermarrying to fix beneficial traits uh, can be beneficial for the right individuals. Law enforcement still says they're doing something. I hope they are. I hope, you know, maybe they will, maybe they won't.